Hey guys, how are ya? Get comfy. I'm just pulling my covers up. I have a purplish wool sweater on. I have my goldfish tank in the background. I have huge, big, bubbly goldfish in there. I have a family of guppies. All my guppies I rescued and all my goldfish I rescued. <laughs> I call them the monsters. Because they, they literally eat so much food. You'll probably hear them sometimes. I have two really big pocostomus in there and they jump up. It, it, you would think that I have uh, jumping piranhas. <laughs> anyway, just get comfortable. Let your shoulders relax. Um, as you listen to uh, this little chat, it's kind of like a little pillow talk chat. I want you to just, uh, what I'm doing is I have my left knee externally rotated completely to the ground. And my right foot is uh, on top of my ankle. My heel is dropped off uh, that left. So again, that left knee is all the way to the ground. My glute is totally relaxed. No tension in my glute. Although just as I say that, I realize I am holding tight. And then I'm going to slowly let that right side externally rotate. Um, starting from that medial line, then just traversing externally out so that the knee will then match the other knee that's down on the ground. And then it'll look like a diamond. You know, if you're standing, if you're looking down from, if you're standing above me, it could look like a, a marquee like diamond anyway I want to just talk about uh, this project and pink fighter and I know I think this is going to probably go into week six or seven when I say week you can do one workout for a whole week or you could do one of these workouts every day it just kind of depends on whatever your level is maybe one workout will take you three months to get it and then you can move to the you know what I mean so everyone's going to have a different pace and whatever your pace is is absolutely beautiful and wonderful and I want you to just honor that space within you so this video I want to just kind of talk about uh Pink Fighter and the inspiration behind Pink Fighter and uh what this company means to me and what is this documentary, what is this thing that I'm doing? So I've owned uh, the name Pink Fighter and I have just never known what I was gonna do with it. I just never knew what it was. I knew it was gonna be something. I just didn't know what it was gonna be. And I remember at the time when I got it, my husband was like, Pink Fighter. Like he just did not think it was a good name. And I didn't care, I got it anyway. I've always been a person, I don't care what anybody thinks, I'm gonna do it, right? So anyway, um, what Pink Fighter is, is it is, it is a space, it is a safe place that people can come and be totally naked to the core. We are going to cut so close to your bone. There is going to be no tendon, muscle, cartilage. We're going to just, we're going to be so, so close. You almost want to think that we're going to get into the DNA and matrix of your soul, of your soul code, of who it is that is inside of you that has always burned and yearned that part of you, that very special part of you, that part of you that I believe will leave when you leave, when you exit this body. And it's, how I've gotten here is a really, really uh, crazy windy road and there are going to be, I'm sure, thousands more 
uh, of these videos that I'm going to do to try to just come at it at every angle. But what the, the most important thing that I kind of say now is that um, I was in a horseback riding accident in December and uh, 2000 and I'm just going to kind of leave that year vague because I'm just going to, I don't, I, I just, I want to be as anonymous as possible in, it's been a, it's been a while, it's been a long time, but anyway, in that accident, I suffered, uh, I broke my uh, transverse process on uh, C1, C2, C3 and uh, broke ribs and fractured my hip. I just, I had, uh, just my, it was just a really, really bad accident. I fell from, 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 uh, my horse. I was bareback riding. Um, anyway, when I kind of came to in the hospital, they, uh, it was just, you know what, actually, I'm not even going to go into the whole story. I'll say that for another time. Uh, and again, I'm not going to edit stuff because you guys, the whole thing behind this program is being real and not being polished so that's why you'll see me working out with my glasses no makeup i'll be it's just i this is going to be the realest thing i've ever done and it's going to be my final statement for life it'll be my uh piece of art that i leave you know along the way i'm sure we're going to go on a journey of me making hats and doing jewelry and doing this and doing that and that's just part of like my journey and what it is I'm about to talk to you guys um, all about so just suffice it to say I will someday talk in more detail about the accident but right now what I just want to do is just say that I was in a very 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 severe horseback riding accident where I literally had to uh, teach myself how to walk again and um, how to uh, n not very successfully in the beginning counter the pain and that's again for many 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 videos down the line but right now I just want to talk about just the reason that Pink Fighter is now coming to uh, full birth is that I see what I did suffer from that accident is a brain injury that literally has um, dramatically affected my life in a way that I had no idea. And <laughs> these again will be thousands of videos of what I talk about, just what I, what I went through uh, what I lost, who I lost, but then who I gained, and then who not only I gained, I, I started to see, I started to see clearly, I started to see what really was important in life, and, and what really mattered, and, you know, and these are like the great lessons that, um, we will be talking about in this program, until the rest of my life, until the day I die, I'll, I'll keep talking about it, and, I have to start recording because I'm just getting to a point in this injury where it's sometimes very, very, very challenging. It's almost like living with Alzheimer's and that uh, it's just very, very difficult sometimes to um, even talk about because it's not anything that like my mom, my mother, my brother, my sister even my, uh, even my bunny, even my bunny, um, he knows, but I don't think he really, really, really knows how, um, how really dark and hard it is to have this injury and to have had it for, it's been, well, let's see, it's, it's 2023 and I had the accident, so it's been exciting. Exactly about oh my gosh whoa let's see here so yeah I'll give it I'll give a uh it I'll give it a twenty to uh thirty year span 
a go. And then that way, it again just keeps it. I just want to keep things open. I don't want to get embroiled in the mishmash of details because that is the complete opposite of what this program is about. This program is just about uh, forgiving yourself uh, for any wrongs that you may have done uh, to others. But I'm really, I mean, I want you to clean that side up, but that's just on you. I don't really care about that. What I really care about the most and what my ministry is or um, my, and when I say ministry, you guys, I just love the Lord so much because I've seen him do things in my world that that is just who I give the credit to because that's just who I always have called out. But I want you to know that when I say that, I don't want to bring any offense to anybody. It's whatever source serves you. I just know that my greatest source, and I've, believe me, I looked everywhere, high and low. Um, and Jesus is, he is my ride or die. And if y'all could see him the way I see him, which is the way I'm going to just talk about him in, in this in this in this program uh and again you just put whatever else you know whatever other word you want to use but for me i just think what's lacking in christianity today right now is the raw realness and you've got like all this huge generational gap between you know no you have to be this way and you have to do this way and you have to dress this way and blah 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 blah, blah. and it's kind of like they're almost sounding very pharisaical and so one of the things uh, that brought me back to the Lord and actually has me so committed to him is that I've just really seen God work in miraculous ways and like on the daily. And um, so, yeah, I know I'm kind of rambling. I'm always going to ramble. That's part of having this brain injury, you guys. And uh, like you're going to see my videos, I'm not going to correct them. I'm not going to edit over them. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to have fun with effects. I'm going to have fun with sometimes you'll see my face. Sometimes you won't see my face. I'm just I'm going to create this as like a really cool way um, to integrate art and sound and sometimes no sound like in this one you're just gonna have me in my room with my aquarium and my fans on and so it's like you're like sitting here with me right well actually i'm lying in my bed so yeah you're curled up next to me <laughs> anyway so yeah pink fighter is going to be um gonna be it's gonna be something that is is so much bigger i'm just bringing her into this world all i am doing is authoring her at this moment but she's gonna be bigger than anything and what she represents to me is just possibility and love and naturalness but then at the same time being able to wear neon war paint if you want it do you know what i mean and just being where spikes and chunks and i just i i just i want to call forth what it is i think is kind of missing in the world and missing in programs and there is going to be a burnout and when that time happens i just hope you all find this program and you know you kick some butt with it so i'm gonna just keep doing these uh recordings and these tapes and it's like it might not even hit this generation might take two more generations to really get and understand what it is I'm saying. Um, and you know what? If it takes that, it'll be worth it. But in the meantime, if it maybe even just affects one of you out there, one of you out there that is feeling just not heard, is feeling just unloved, is feeling shame, is feeling regret, is feeling age is feeling letting go is feeling curling up in a bed is feeling no desire no excitement no drive and what's hard is that you know that that is the exact antithesis of who you were 10 years ago 
and you're in this space of like what the hell happened what just you know and I start to almost think I remember like I, I read blind life I, I, I feel like I was going at such a max capacity that I like lived 20 lifetimes and I always said I wanted to do that because I wanted to sit on my porch and look back at my memories and go yeah yeah I remember that I just always wanted I never wanted to feel regret so I lived a life that um you know was was one in which um I think it's just funny because my mind just went to it's kind of I have to be very responsible for things that I say when I say I wanted to live a life with no regret I want to uh, have a caveat to that and that is not to hurt someone not to hurt another human being like like that a life well lived is and, and I should say intentionally or intentionally because a lot of people, oh, well, you know what I mean when I said that. It's like, no, like, you're very responsible for the words that you say out into this world. And those words should be beautifully spoken. They should have crystals and rhinestones and just be warm and cozy. Like, your words should match who you are and who your essence is so pink fighter what are we we are about finding that essence that whisper in your soul that space within you that is truly succulently divine those are the words that came to me succulently divine just juicy and gorgeous and sleek and strong and voluptuous and curvy and tintillating and happy and relaxed and letting go and authentic and real, kind and faithful. And have a creed, have a real creed of who you are. Mine is that I want to empower humanity through others, through fitness, through speaking, through my experiences, your experiences, having co experiences and seminars and dancing on stage together and painting and drawing and creating art and music and just really being alive in life and so it's kind of cool because on this journey right now I'm on like a level one teeny tiny level one like I just I can see this but I have no idea how to go about it I'm in the worst shape of my life I'm like from the absolute ground zero bottom, but I know this is it. I know this is the time. I know this is my time, and I'm just gonna give myself over to God and say, use me and speak through me and allow me to capture the essence in which it is you want me to speak. Amen. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you. Have a beautiful day.